What's going on, folks? Little Sunday afternoon, turkey season, more prep going. Oh, come on with it. This ain't no game. All right, so here's what um, here's what I have going on today. Um, I have gotten my but my my turkey target in my bow, and I have this chair that I sit in sometimes, and I probably will get my vest tomorrow and do a little shooting with it. Uh, that new Sitka vest, just kind of see how that goes. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna set my chair kind of right up here along the, one of those trees or something maybe. Probably over here in the shade because I try to stay in the shade as much as I can when I'm turkey hunting as most turkey hunters do. So, um, but anyway, I'm gonna sling the old Elite. Got it dialed in yesterday. Shot it from uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40 yards and it's dialed in. So, um, pretty pumped up about it. 31 inches axle to axle. Dead quiet, smooth. I like it a lot. And don't forget, Ridge Rock Hunt Company hats. Go to the website and order this one right here. It's the Camo Black Red Label 106. It's pretty sweet. I think it may be my turkey hunting gear, my turkey hunting hat for the year, maybe. Um, but anyway, that's what I got going on. So I'll give you a little snid bit here in just a minute. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna sit this thing down. We'll set my bow down. Get the old chair out of my hands. You see here, we're kind of right here by the old barn or old shed. And I'm gonna get this, get this old chair down and uh, give it a whirl. Get a few little shots right down there. I probably need to get rid of that old grill right there too. But anyway, we'll get that done. So I'm gonna set this tripod up if I can get it kind of figured out here. I have to undo it, screw it right there. Boom, there we go. How about that? All right, so I'm gonna set this down. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. Getting this whole chair. Now, I shoot standing up all the time, and uh, it's always a good idea to practice like you will actually be in the woods. So I'm not fully on the ground right here. But still, shooting, shooting, sitting down, and shooting, standing up are two different types of shooting. So, Let's see if I can get this thing adjusted a little bit. Let's see what we got going on here. I don't know if that's gonna work too good or not. But yeah, I always, whenever I'm in the woods, I always like to get me a few ranges as far as what I'm shooting at. Right there, the hog. And there's a limb in the way of my rangefinder. It doesn't like to read that black on that hog for some reason. This is Lacey's uh, rangefinder. And my turkey's 20 yards there, so. But generally I'm kind of sitting with my bow kind of hide me a little bit, I'll, I'll get me some greenery and uh, put it on my bow tonight and kind of give me a little extra breaking up of the outline stuff. So I need to get that done. I also need to get my little bouquet situated. So anyway, so here we go. Turkey's over there strutting, gobbling, jumping on the decoys. Oh, look out. My heart's beating fast. It's time to kill. Hit it a little bit low right there. So that's why I'm practicing. It's, been a, it's probably been since last turkey season since I practiced sitting down. So a lot of times when you're shooting these bows, you get it called kind of twisted up and everything. Um, you gotta hold that shot pretty good. I'll give it another try here. So I gotta get my little stand set up. Yep. Down there, so 
I'm gonna turn this off, go grab a mirror and do it again. All right, figured I'd give you a little different point of view here. Get a little more practice in, shooting from sitting. Got him. This chair kind of squeaks too. I'm glad I did that, so gotta fix that as well. A lot of stuff when it sits up all year, it needs a little attention. dead all right folks well um i'm gonna get a few more rounds in just to practice a little bit make sure i'm dialed in and ready baby figured real quick i'd uh try to shoot it in the head yeah you know just because it's fun in the backyard i have some of them guillotine heads and solid broadheads but i gotta get my bow i gotta get a whole other bow set up for that deal I may order me one and just, uh, just give it a whirl, see what it does. Anyway, let's see about getting this old turkey in the head. Ooh. Let's see what we got here. Shot it in the body one shot and shot it at the head in another shot. So let's see what we got. Man, I gotta go do some scouting. Get my mask, because I'm gonna have to lay down. Kinda know where they like to be, but, you know. Ooh, ooh. All right, so, there's my first shot for the body shot. I don't know what did I skimmed my arrow on one of them other shots when I'm touching. And then there's the one of uh, shooting it in the head. I think that probably would have uh, ended it right there for him. So, Anyway, I got to get my old guillotine head set up. I want to jump on here real quick today and let you know what I'm doing to prepare for turkey season. Practice like you play. I remember that from my baseball years. If you're going to be sitting down and you have to shoot a turkey with your bow, you better get to practicing some because let me tell you, the first shot I took today wasn't that great because I haven't done it in a long time. But as you can tell, kind of got it honed in now. That's exactly where I want to hit it in the body if it's strutting and or in the head right there so i may try to shoot one in the head this year if it's close enough that'd be kind of cool anyway hopefully we'll get some good footage for you this year and i appreciate you watching ridge rock hunt company's youtube page don't forget to subscribe and check out our facebook page and instagram page and twitter we appreciate you watching ridge rock hunt company see ya